Hey everyone, this is Judy and I'm super excited to show you my planner supply haul. I know there's a whole big thing about yoga people being so much happier with less stuff, but I really 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 like stationery. Plus, I'm an excellent planner and I just think there are some awesome tools out there that'll help you get organized so that you can make time to become healthy. And then, there's the cutesy stuff that'll make you more motivated to use your planner. I got these discs from Michaels created by Mambi. They cost $8 plus tax Canadian, but I used a coupon and got 50% off. Out of all the binding systems out there, I prefer disc bound because it functions like a spiral bound notebook, but it also gives you the freedom to rearrange your pages. At its simplest, all you need is one writing tool. I love color and use Stadler pens. The rainbow color ones are from Staples and I purchased the neon ones from Michaels with their 50% off coupon. I believe the two packages together came under $20. My good friend Nita purchased two clear pouches and gave me one. They're from Staples under the ARC system and it was about $2 each. Although ARC and Happy Planner are totally compatible disc systems, I made my planner from scratch so I washi taped the holes and punched my own to make it fit. I prefer the clear pouches to envelopes because I like to see what's inside. I used Ziploc bags for a while but the plastic is obviously much thinner. Then I have jumbo paper clips from Winners. This box of 20 clips was about $4 plus tax, which was actually cheaper than the ones I saw at the dollar store. The ones at Dollarama were $4 for a dollar, and the colors weren't as pretty. And then we have washi tape. It just makes things look so pretty. I'll show you how I use them for organizing my planner in my next video. They come at different price points, and the cheapest one that I have are the red patterned rolls, 3 for $2 on Christmas clearance from Michaels. I love these stickers that Nita gave me. Because I recycle old months, however, I feel like I should only use them on more permanent pages. She told me they were super inexpensive, but still, I don't really like to waste stuff. Then I found this Hello Kitty sticker book at Dollarama for about $3. It comes with activity pages, which I will find a use for, but there are so many stickers in here that I just couldn't pass up the opportunity. These are my favorite page flags from Chapters. I got them a few months ago so I'm not sure if they still have them. I believe they were about $7 but I have been given $5 plum points so it's only about $2. I got my journaling cards from Winners for about $25 while they usually have them at Michaels for about $40. Most of them are double sided. There are a few that have a pretty print only on one side though. Most of the small ones have 9 copies, so you can use them in your planner, in your scrapbook, share them with friends, and whatever your heart desires. Some of the bigger cards have the score line in the center, so you can fold it in half nicely. The core kit is made by Project Life by Vicki Higgins. This set of clear journaling cards are made by We Are Memory Keepers. These are acetate journaling cards, which I bought from Winners. It came up to about $6 for 36 cards, and I had used a gift card. You can use them for layering over photos or over other journaling cards, and I'm pretty sure I can use them as a whiteboard as well as a temporary home for some stickers. I also have some scrapbook paper for my planner. I love these superhero designs, but I'm not sure if the color scheme will work with the pink discs of my planner. I will likely make another trip to the store and see if there's anything else that'll work better. Last but not least, I have acquired a few paper punches. My favorite one has actually turned out to be the Paper Corner Rounder that cost about $5 at Walmart. When I bought it, the cashier gave me a look that said, really, they sell this? And people actually buy it? That was my initial reaction to it as well. Now that I have one, I use it all the time. I think it makes things look put together and less homemade. That's all for now. See you next week for my planner tour video. If you like seeing this stuff, please leave me a comment below, subscribe, and like me. Thanks for watching!